Hi, uh, in, the, uh, in the previous videos where we were discussing filters, mainly we have talked about uh, how the amplitude of the input going into the filter changes, right? So if you have a filter and you give a sine wave of a certain frequency or some signal of a uh, frequency, so let's say I give a signal of frequency omega, what we are basically looking at is how the amplitude changes. So we get a signal of sine omega t plus phi. And what we have been interested is looking at the gain. And the gain is given by b over a. right? And this is basically the magnitude of the gain. Because uh, there is something more than just the amplitude of the sine wave changing. And that is encapsulated by this phase okay so the phase of the signals also change so if you give a sine wave input so let's try it here so if i give a sine wave uh, like this okay the output is not going to be uh, the exact same signal with a different amplitude but it's going to be a signal that is shifted in time so it's going to be something like this right uh, and 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 so basically our filters are uh, doing two things they are changing the amplitude of your sine wave but they are also adding some phase on to your uh, on to your signals and both of these components are really important ideally what we would want is either a zero phase shift so this phi remains zero for all frequencies or you would want this phi omega to be a constant right because you can imagine that oh imagine what would happen uh, if you're adding various sine waves to make let's say an arbitrary signal let's say an ecg signal is decomposed into various sine waves and each of those sine waves is changed by uh, different amplitudes and then those sine waves are also shifted in time then what you get at the output uh, changes quite a lot so ideally your phase response should be a constant but in general it's not so uh, we'll leave the discussion of phase here and uh, uh, what i what i just want you to carry home from here is that uh, yes, the amplitude response is probably the most important response, but the phase in filters is also important, and it's a it's it's a thing that we need to think about. Uh, but I think the discussion is uh, reasonably complicated and outside the scope of this course, uh, so we'll leave it uh, leave it uh, at this point.